If you have never subscribed to somebody as a Patreon, you might be wondering what it is like for them. For them, it is a very easy process. When they get onto Patreon, they will see your page and they will see your posts, but they are fuzzed out so that they can't read them. Patreon will do a really interesting thing where it will show them a couple of lines, a little teaser, and it will maybe explain what the post is, but they cannot see it. On there, they'll have the option to join various tiers. On Patreon, you can set up tiers so that people can pay different amounts for different benefits. So if you have a lower tier that only costs $5 per month, you might only get one or two benefits there. If you have a higher tier that's $50 or $100, that's gonna come with more benefits. One thing that I like about Patreon is say you're on a cheaper tier, you can still see all of the posts from the other tiers, but they're fuzzed out. So it does give people that incentive to upgrade so that they can see everything. For the Patreons, once they have decided which tier they would like to go on, they can just click pay and then they enter their card details. From that point, they will be charged on a monthly rolling basis. They have the option to pay for an entire year upfront if they want to. And there are two ways that payments in Patreon work. The first way is that whenever anybody joins Patreon, they are charged and then they're charged on the first of the month going forward. That's how I have my Patreon set up. The second option is that you don't charge anybody until the first of the month. This means that somebody could join midway through the month and pay nothing until the first of the month, which is when they would be charged. I decided not to do that because I don't like the idea of somebody joining my Patreon for a couple of weeks for free and then just leaving because that gets rid of all of the mystery of what's inside Patreon. It is a bit strange when people are charged on the first because even if somebody joins one or two days before before the end of the month, they will be charged then and they will be charged on the first again. I have had people before who've joined two days before the start of the month and then been charged twice in a week. And I have reached out to them and I've warned them, this is gonna charge you again on the first, are you okay with that? They've always been fine, they've always known that. Patreon does explain it to the person on the page. It's not normally a surprise. You'll probably find somebody who was surprised, but it feels to me like Patreon describes it pretty well. And that's what I would recommend. For me as the creator, as soon as somebody joins my Patreon, I get an email and I have access within Patreon to send them direct messages. Patreon have a pretty good app. It's really easy to use. So as soon as somebody joins my Patreon, I will just send them a message. I also have it set up so that some of my higher tiers, they get a personalized video message from me. So when I get that one, regardless of if I'm in my pajamas, I've just come in from a walk and it's been raining, I will sit down and I will film a terrible welcome message and people really like that. Patreon does give you the email address and the name of the Patreon so I can say hello here is your video message or hello welcome to Patreon and that's something that I really like to get that instant connection and to be able to say thank you to somebody I think it's well worth doing it's just it's just polite. Patreon handles all of the payments, all of the refunds, all of the customer service stuff. I don't see any of that. All that I see is that once per month, a lump of cash goes into my bank account and it comes from Patreon. The payment options are all of the usual options. You can use PayPal, you can have it directly put into your bank account and it just shows up once per month. You don't have to do anything. It's automatically transferred and it's very, very easy. You can see a lot of analytics inside your Patreon and I spend way too much time looking at this. You can see every single month how many people joined, how many people left, what is your change up or down, how much money are you expecting to get in, how much money are you expecting to pay in fees. There are a lot of analytics in Patreon and this part is basically a list of all of your Patreons, their email addresses, how much they pay you per month and how much they've paid you in total. You can export this as a CSV. I sometimes put the names at the end of my YouTube videos. So I'll just export the list and copy and paste it into YouTube. When you message people in Patreon, it will say how much they pay you per month and the total amount that they've given you in the top. It is a bit strange, but it is nice to know. Another thing that Patreon do that I think is brilliant because it means that I don't have to do it is if a payment is declined, if it doesn't go through, someone's card fails, they will ask them, you know, please add your card again, it's failed. They will explain and they will chase them. When you do get to bigger numbers on Patreon, you can kind of expect that some of them will fail. It's something that I never thought about before, but every month I have some sort of payments that do fail. But by the end of the month, almost every month, they've all been sorted out. So I'm glad that Patreon are doing that rather than me. 
If you did want to for any reason, you can click a withdraw money button, but I prefer just to leave Patreon to automatically transfer it because then I get one payment per month and it's much easier to track it like that.